Hello, and welcome to today's daily devotional reading from the Vitality for Daily Living, authored by Prophet Daniel Ejako Afari. Today is Sunday, the 11th of June, 2023. Our topic for today is how powerful the tongue can be. Our anchor scripture is taken from James chapter 3, verse 8. I read, But the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. Now the inspiration. The tongue of man is a spiritual poison which can kill in his dreams and ambitions. I have seen innocent people imprisoned, dead people brought back to life, and relationships ruined because of the tongue. You can use your tongue to control the direction of your future. If you keep saying the wrong things, you direct your life in the wrong direction and your future will crash. The future of a man's life can be controlled with the tongue through spoken words. If you sit in a car, for instance, and refuse to turn the steering wheel, you would crash to death with time. Sadly, however, many of us are sitting in the vehicle of our lives without controlling our tomorrow with our tongue. From today, begin to control the future by saying what you would want the future to look like for you, and you shall have it with time. The tongue is fire. It burns at the temperature which cannot be determined. It can set ablaze and can release energy. It can destroy what God has created. Many of us have destroyed God's intentions and prophetic agenda for our lives by wrong confessions with our tongue. In this way, we set in motion an anti-force which opposes our destiny and delays our purposes on earth. By the same tongue, blessings and curses proceed in the form of words. And curses are not those left behind in a will after the death of a testator, but words spoken and backed by faith. When Jacob was dying, he blessed some of his children and cursed, and cursed some with his tongue. Those who were blessed walked in prosperity with ease. But there was a limitation which resisted those who received curses from walking in prosperity. If a person combines the power of the tongue with his faith in God by being born again in Christ, then such a person is in for double exploits and nothing shall be impossible. Beware of your tongue. Let us pray. Father, let the Holy Spirit control the power of my tongue so that I would eat its good fruits in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. To read the Bible in one year for today, please read 2 Chronicles chapter 34, chapter 35, and chapter 36. And also read John chapter 19, verse 1 to 22. God bless you.